Hi. Welcome to my room. Uh, sorry if it's kind of loud outside. There's some guys playing chess in the park. Um, it's Sunday, Sunday afternoon, so you know how it gets. Um, I'm painting this half yard of organza silk that I got in the fabric district yesterday. Um, I thought that you guys might want to watch along with me a little. It's a beautiful, almost translucent silk. I don't know if you can see that there. That I've pinned to this, which I found in my <laughs> in my landlord's basement, but she won't notice it's missing. Um, so I thought what I wanted to paint was like, like a platter with two branzino fish on it. <laughs> with like lemons and herbs and as you can see the fish are really pink and transparent right now and what we're going to do is lay a little bit of silvery blue color into them so that they gain a little bit of depth so this is a blue but it's pretty dark right now so gonna thin it out with some water from the pitcher and like not totally spill everywhere <laughs> and this is like a wet on wet method so the silk is already wet it's already wet from putting on the pink color and we're just gonna start right back here on the tail and drop in that beautiful blue color If you watch it, just this is a pretty toothy silk, so it doesn't flow too freely. But you can push it right up against that white line, which I drew with a gutta, which is a resist. And so it doesn't get too dark. Working very quickly in big strokes, I'm using a number 12 round brush. Pull away from there. Plenty of water, don't be afraid. We're gonna pull it across that whole area. Oops. <laughs> Don't mind that. Pull it across that whole area. Sorry about the trolley. <laughs> and you can start to see how that color is gonna even out really nicely. Now I don't quite like how look how the back is looking here. So I'm gonna put a little more red in there. If we blend this nicely, if we blend this nicely, it should start to look gray. <laughs> nice rosy cheeks. Beautiful, beautiful rosy cheeks. silk painting but you know it's cooking too because can't you just taste those lemons I can <sighs> sorry give me a moment I'm just going to fix this papers down there are just a little crinkly <laughs> all right we're gonna do the same thing to the other fishy. Once again, using big, bold strokes just to work in a blue color over there so that the whole thing starts to look gray. And if you fall outside the lines, that doesn't matter. My teacher for this was my godfather and he told me that he taught painting silk for 20 years and he told me that all his students the best things were moments when they thought they'd made an accident because they'd gone outside the lines and really that was the best moment of the whole piece look at that color look at 
the sheen on the surface of the organza there. That's beautiful. Probably gonna get motion sickness from watching this. Cause it's hardly being done with a tripod here. Mm -hmm. Shiny, just like real fish. And if something like that splatter happens, that's perfectly normal. We're not making masterpieces here. All you have to do is pick up a little piece of paper and blot that out. And if it's really going to bother you, wash your brush, put some water on it. No, no one will ever even notice it. So soak is a funny medium. You can kind of see how it's pooling on the surface, and that's because I haven't stretched these tightly enough because I don't have any push pins. So I've got an exacto blade up against there. Push pins from you know, <laughs> nails from sticking pictures up in my house. That kind of thing. But you can start to see how that would come together. If I stretch that out there. Rather than any particular color being really strong, we've blended the two together to the point that they just kind of look shiny more than anything. That's really what I was going for. You can always, always, always change the coloration of silk until that moment you steam fix it, and you're not going to do that accidentally. That's the whole process. So. If I decided I wanted to get my $10 back and start over on this piece of soap, I could just wash the whole thing in the sink right now and start over. But I'm not going to because I actually like this. Now hold on a second and I'll come back in a couple hours. from painting to um to hang up the soak against the window for a second and i just wanted you to see um how much the light comes through there this is such a translucent silk look at those colors and i just think it's so pretty to see the trees in the park behind there. Hear those fall sounds of birds and kids playing out there with their parents. And see all that through the <laughs> through the world of lemons and, and sea bass fish. You know? So I'll come back in a second after I've painted this And then we're going to do the background, hopefully. We still have time. It's going to be so nice. So this is how it's looking. Um, I colored in some of these sage leaves and the rosemary. The lemons are looking nice and burnt, which is exactly what I wanted. And I painted this ceramic pattern around the edge of the dish that I was picturing. You know, um, I mixed some blue paint directly with the white resist that the uh, whole painting is, is done with. That way when I wash this out tomorrow, 
Um, you're going to see specks of white in that that I made, so it's always going to be like a splatterware pattern or, um, or something of that nature. I hope you enjoyed this little, um, this little clip. I know it's my first video, and I'm sorry about the traffic noise, but um, hopefully you got something out of it. Do leave a comment or um, let me know what you think, and I'm hopefully going to post more silk painting videos or just general painting and hanging out in my in my room so hope that you uh, hear from me soon i guess bye